The Rise of Skywalker is now just three months away from its official release by director J.J. Abrams, Disney, Lucasfilm, and even creator George Lucas. That is all set and ready to end the sequel trilogy and the Skywalker saga itself. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, the one great thing about Episode 9 is that we do know that a great portion of this film is going to answer a lot of questions related to the gap in between Episode 6 and Episode 7, that big time jump of 30 plus years where everything is going to be explained in greater detail involving the characters of Luke, Leia, Kylo Ren, Han Solo, you name it. Now, on top of all of this, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the big plans by Disney and Lucasfilm, this is where things begin to get very intense for the characters of Luke Skywalker and Leia. Now, specifically, it's described that one of the sequences that were filmed over in Cardington during the month of September 2018, just late last year, involved a sequence between Mark Hamill, where their de-aging technology was being used, on Mark Hamill, where he had to shave off his beard, for the sequence to create a far younger version of Luke just after Return of the Jedi. Now, it's explained that one of the scenes is said to involve a moment where a young Luke is said to be dueling with his sister Leia that was made possible by de-aging Carrie Fisher's face from The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens and placing it onto a young actor's body, playing a younger version of Leia. One of the scenes is said to even involve a moment where young Leia is able to force grab Luke's green lightsaber during their training, where the scene is said to take place on a jungle world between both Luke and Leia, where the sequence was said to have been proposed by George Lucas to J.J. Abrams, and that George Lucas even wrote in a couple lines of dialogue between young Luke and Leia for the beginning of the film in order to keep the continuity in place with the originals. Now, it's explained that young Luke in the scene is said to have slightly longer hair, almost like how it was in Star Wars A New Hope, except he is in Jedi robes, while Leia is said to be in a brand new and unique outfit related to the Jedi that has never been seen before in the Skywalker saga. It said that John Williams composed a brand new theme dedicated to the scene that was dubbed as Twins Training. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that this film is, of course, going to introduce new technology related to de-aging technology that's going to make it look lifelike. So in case you guys are wondering about this flashback that is said to be the first scene in Episode 9, the opening, the true opening of the movie, if you will, it's actually said to look like Luke and Leia did in Return of the Jedi, except some different costume choices and stuff around those lines. So I think that's going to be the highlight of this movie, without a doubt. I really do believe so, because a lot of fans always wondered what Luke and Leia went through after the events of Return of the Jedi off-screen, right? What did they really go through? This scene, I think, is really going to serve as a big highlight of the Skywalker saga and is really going to serve as a moment where a lot of fans are going to talk about it. Once the film arrives, a lot of fans are going to mark it down as a highlight of the movie. And I think what they're truly trying to do here is that they're trying to expand off of what they already did with Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, with Tarkin and Leia and stuff around those lines. Now they're trying to do that with Luke and Leia in the very beginning of this movie. So it's said to happen just after the opening crawl of The Rise of Skywalker, where they are both training. The thing that really stood out to me the most, though, is how there's going to be a moment where Leia force grabs Luke's green lightsaber from his hand and brings it into her own hand and she's able to show Luke how powerful she really is. Now, the whole entire scene between Luke and Leia I think is a great honor to Carrie Fisher to really do something special for Carrie and to just do something different other than her just being the general in her later life. I think that showing us a different lifestyle of Leia is very intriguing. I think it's something that a lot of fans are going to enjoy and a lot of fans are going to embrace. And when we look at episode 9 specifically, this movie really is about the Skywalkers at the end of the day, right? Hence the title, The Rise of Skywalker. It wouldn't make much sense to not have anything related to the Skywalkers without diving deep into that. So this particular scene is said to take place on a jungle world. Where are we? That's the biggest question, right? Where are we? So it could very well be the world of Pilio. That's a very big possibility because we do know that that is a big world in Star Wars Battlefront 2, which by the way is canon, and Luke Skywalker and R2-D2 have been there. Now this is also said to explain exactly why Leia needs to stop her Jedi training. So... 
I don't know if you guys knew, but in the Bloodline novel by Claudia Gray, it's a great read. I do suggest that you guys go ahead and check it out if you're into Leia's backstory as, you know, a political figure. Uh, you do learn that, you know, she gave up the Jedi way, and a lot of people always questioned her about her brother Luke and why she never pursued the Jedi. Now that's going to be fully explained in The Rise of Skywalker that a lot of that had to do with her being pregnant with Ben Solo. It's basically what, uh, you know, basically put her off track of becoming a Jedi and decided to not do that and focus on this. So anyways guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah.